Okay, so I've had a few people ask me how I did my deep engraving of stones. So I'm going to try and keep this as brief as possible, but it could go on a little bit. So first of all, I found an STL that I wanted to use. STL is used to make a depth map, which allows you to engrave deep into objects like stone brass such like so the one that i found that i quite liked was this one on etsy so i purchased this and uh, once you purchase it you will get a file like this i believe it didn't come exactly like this it was upside down and needed some repair but Windows uh, 3D Builder can actually do that repair. So after it's been repaired, it looks like this. Um, I wanted to cut out part of it and not have the entire thing. So I'll show you how to do that. So now that we've got our STL, I need to make a depth map. What I use is a website called STL to PNG. Just choose the file and then it creates this, which is your depth map. Once you've downloaded it, you will have an image like this, which is a depth map. So now that you've got your image, next thing we need is the design around, uh, as you can see here, I used like crack designs for it to uh, engrave. So what I did is I went online and I found some images of cracks. So. I don't know if anybody can actually copyright cracks, but just in case, this is for educational purposes. Um, so I found a crack that I wanted to use. So I downloaded that, and the next part would be to go into Lightburn. So here in Lightburn, I've got my depth map and the image of the cracks. What I did with the image of the cracks was I traced them, just done a quick trace, Take that and now no longer need the image. So I don't need these three, so I can ungroup this. Take this one, move it aside and get rid of these. Now, to make this cover up here, we change it into a, I believe it's template, it's T1. Uh, you got you got two template type uh, functions and it, well, it's tool on here so now that this is a tool I can use it to mask the depth map so basically if I highlight everything right click I can do apply mask to image so now the tool is a mask so I can move the cogs around inside i can turn them around i can make them bigger make them smaller just until i get exactly what i want something around about like that which is what i've used and that's it really just to get the image uh, for my stone engravings uh, my settings are 2000 millimeters a second speed 90 power 50 frequency and it is 0 0.025 which is 1016 dpi use 3d sliced because this is the depth map it needs to use 3d sliced so it will turn it into layers for each um, time the laser passes it will just do that layer so then it, it builds up your 3d image in your rock or brass or whatever you're trying to do um, I used 250 passes and it got me a good result that is entirely up to you whether you want to use 250 I think I saw somebody post the other day they'd done a depth map which was uh, 4,000 passes or something like that so it really depends on the, the depth you want the laser to go um, I don't adjust my laser while it's doing it it just it will lose power the deeper that it goes so you got to think about that but with the stone it it, it helps because it's it, 
um, it sort of helps to the, the depth effect. So that was all I did and I'll post a few pictures of the results. Thank you.